is the Global Meticulous Manicurist Alumni Spotlight, and we're here celebrating all of the people who have graduated from the course. So I want to thank you so much. This is a celebration of you and your accomplishments. So why don't we start off by you introducing yourself to everyone, let them know where you live, um, how many years have you been a nail technician, what's your favorite service to you, things like that. Absolutely. My name is Stephanie Cox and I am located and live in Zephyr Hills, Florida. Uh, my favorite service is pedicures by far. It's just something that came to me. I've only been a licensed technician in the nail industry for about a year and a half. Okay. Um, but I found Lori and I watched her on the Meticulous Manicures YouTube tutorials while I was going through my schooling. And I was like, I want to do that. I want to be that person that helps others because I've always been in the animal industry helping animals, you know, helping our pets. So that just was my calling and that's what's came to me. Um, I still do a lot of gel, you know, manicures too, uh, along with doing offering the pedicure services and some other nail needs too. So it's a full service for us, but my passion are pedicures. I love helping people and, and just the feeling of whenever we're finished and they're so happy and grateful for it. You've had your license for a year. Uh, do you have other techs in your business as well? Yes, we do. We have um, nail artists, we have acrylic specialist in our office. So you've got this incredible nail art in our aspect of our salon as well, as far as those who want those encapsulated acrylic nails and all those other fun things that they right. offer and designs. So you guys are specializing instead of each person doing everything all together. Everybody has their own specialty. Absolutely. That's Everybody really has their own specialty. Smart. That's really, really smart. So I always love hearing what sparked your interest in becoming a nail technician. So if you've only been a nail tech for a little over a year, tell us how you got into the industry. So I started out, and this is going to sound funny, I started out selling jewelry online. So with that, you use your hands a lot. And I was changing my nail polish, I mean, daily because I worked with animals. So, and I had no idea how to make the nail polish stay to where it looked nice for more than 24 hours. Right. Um, so I was like, it kind of was like, you know, these things go hand in hand, so to speak. But I wanted to add more to my jewelry business as well as how to take care of my own hands. And then whenever I found you, I was like, okay, this is what I have to do. This is my calling. This is what I need to do. And I genuinely never would have thought because you think pets and then all of a sudden go in this direction. But it, it's working and I love it. So <laughs> I absolutely so love it. Did you work in a veterinary clinic? Yes, I'm a veterinary oh. technician by trade, so. Oh, wow. So do <laughs> yeah. you do that anymore at all, or do you just so focus on nails? I moonlight there probably about once a month. If they'll call me and I'll pick up a shift or something. Um, I also still do some volunteer work, you know, that helps out. So it's still I still have my foot in the door, so to speak, doing those things because, I, you know, I miss it a little bit. But this is a busy industry to be in, so. It is. It's a lot to absorb at first. There's a lot of different moving parts going on in this industry. When you were in nail school, did they teach you about pedicures? I was just talking about this with my last interview. And um, because you're in a different state, I'm just wondering, how is the training actually in school going with pedicure services? And did they add any state board requirements for pedicure in your state yet? There really was not, there was some hands-on stuff that we did, but there really wasn't, going through your course is completely different from what I learned in school. And you would think because some of your stuff is like, it's the basics, it's common sense, right? right. But we, did, we were not taught that. We just weren't. It's not there. Um, you've, you've got your books and a lot of it's book work versus getting your hands on and actually seeing what's happening and what we're, what we're capable of doing. Um, we didn't have those applications. No. So it's not there. It's oh, nothing wow. compared to what your course was. Not not even close to the same. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm glad I'm providing that missing segment yes. for DL technicians to actually extend their skills into their businesses to add do all of those add-on services. So you know, it took a lot. You had to be a motivated person to go ahead and jump on board and to take this course. So tell me what um, sparked your interest to go ahead and take the plunge and to do the course. 
the biggest thing is, is and kind of going back to what I learned in school. In school, it was kind of a beautification process. It's, you know, let's get this nail polish, get the client in, get the nail polish on. They're happy. We're happy. Go on. We're not really fixing a problem. We're kind of putting that bandage over, you know, some things that we see because it's fast, fast, fast. Right. Um, Luckily for me and the salon that I'm in or spa that I'm in, the ladies that recruited me, let me kind of beat to my own drum so I could utilize not having to, you know, every 20 minutes, having somebody in my chair and out, I can help these people. Right. You know, I can help them and they're feeling better. And the course just helped me to see that. And I use these tools, everything that you showed me, it was just going through your course. It, it helped me out tremendously. It helped me help people it, almost immediately. So I really... I have a thirst for knowledge as it is, but I really just delved right. into it and, and I completed it rather quickly. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, another question I've been is. asking people. I'm like, did you take your time? Did you, you know, binge it? Like how long did it take you to finish the course? It took me about two and a half weeks and that's with working full time at the time I was working seven days a week. So I, there was, it was very sleepless, but it helped me so much. Then I was like, I have to do this. I have to complete it. So I'm so grateful for it. And it helps me every day. I yeah, mean, even I the other technicians with me, I'm able to help them with their feet issue, their own personal issues, issues and family members and stuff like that. So it's great. I love it. I have no regrets here. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, a lot of people, when they're thinking of taking a course, they have no idea when I list that, that it's 17 modules for the complete meticulous manicures pedicure certification course. Physically, it's 20 hours if it's minute by minute. I know that I write that, but did you realize it was going to be that extensive when you took it? No, I did not real realize how much it was, but once I had gotten into it and I was like, but, it, but it's so important that you take the time with it because it helps us build that wonderful foundation. And for you to go back and to review it, if you see exactly. something that you're like, oh, exactly. I know I learned something about this, so I need to go back and to review it. What is your favorite service to do and what do you consider as your specialty? Definitely pedicures. And my specialty is for sure ingrown toenails <laughs> has been because whether they're truly impacted versus um, ingrown, but it's great to be able to teach people about their toes. And I, and so many people go, oh, my toes are so ugly. I don't want you to touch my feet. And I'm like, they're not ugly. We can right. fix this. It's fine. Absolutely. Yeah, so many people are insecure about the way that their feet look. And really, we have no idea. It's a huge percentage of the population that are hiding their feet. So to be able to have somebody who is knowledgeable like you, and especially in Florida, there's a lot of retired people who come yes. to your area because you're right outside of Tampa. And that's a fantastic area to be in. And, and they want to okay. wear sandals. They don't want to be hiding there it's too hot time. here <laughs> <laughs> way too hot there was there any overlap from you know my course to what you learned in school all of the training did you learn what I taught you in school there was a, a very minimal overlap okay so in school we had to take of course some testing on some of the different funguses and things like that but for the most part they it was always like refer to a doctor and, and it's like you know we have after going through your course, we know now we don't have to refer everybody to a podiatrist. That's not necessarily the case. We can actually help someone that's right there in front of us and not just try to push them out of our chair and down the street to the doctor. So it's nice to know that we, we can help them. Yes. And learning about the nail disorders. And I think I added a handful of little good duties to learn about in there. Absolutely. What was your biggest takeaway from taking the course? Like, how do you think it benefited you so that you can implement those practices into your business? What helped me the most, um, not only but being able to tell people about it, and then whenever I tried to explain, you know, no, I'm not afraid of your scary feet that you're insecure about. I'm like, go watch the meticulous manicurist on YouTube, and you'll understand what I am capable of doing and how I'm able to help you. But also through taking the course, what you really taught me was to utilize the tools, not be afraid of using those tools and just being patient and letting them do the work. I mean, it's, it really Absolutely. is not that difficult. <laughs> right. And, and we once can have you understand all of the speed and pressure and angle and torque and everything, it does really just fall into place. 
Right. It all just comes, it brings it all together. So you, you get the very basics in school, at least from my perspective. <laughs> Taking your course helped me develop a foundation and, and the knowledge and the course of putting these applications together in real life, not just something out of a book that someone skims over and that's it. <laughs> so. right. And then they never think about it again because they're not using it or they don't want to give pedicures or anything like right. that. So because we're here celebrating you and your accomplishments, I really want you guys to shine. I want the people who see your interview. So I want to hear from you. What have you been the most proud of this year in your business, your accomplishments, even down to, you know, giving somebody a service and the big transformation, the before and after of what you were faced with and what you were able to accomplish in just one service? So I will tell you about a service that made me very nervous and I was sweaty throughout, <laughs> but she had driven quite a ways for her large toenails. She had two toenails on each individual toe. Oh, wow. And very, yes. A very unique situation and very ingrown. And she had had pedicures in the past and, and but they were always extremely painful for her. Her feet had been painful for years. She'd been to podiatrists and had things done and there was never any sort of anything was happening. So we have been working together now over the last several months. And the very first time I'm not going to cry, <laughs> but the very first time she came and, and sat in my chair, it took us quite some time to get through it. And I, oh, I was sweating, Lori, I'm telling you, <laughs> I, but I, I, in the I, back of my I, mind, envision it, yes. <laughs> I could hear your voice just saying, let the tools do the work, scoot, scoot, scoot. And that's what oh. I was doing. And it all just came together. And when she got up, she, she started crying. She said, this is the first time I've not had pain in my toes. And I would have anticipated her being, you know, sensitive after all of that work, but she right. did great. She's been back and she's kept up and she's using the mycosis solution and everything's going great for her. So I'm very happy and, I, and I'm having more and more of those, but that's the big one that really just stands out in my mind from this past year and that right. we're still working together. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of hoping she'll find someone closer to her only because it'll be easier for her commute. Right. Um, but I, I just, we just genuinely love it when she comes in. Oh. I feel bad for her because she's driving such a crazy distance. <laughs> yes, that's fantastic. Well, you know, that's another thing that I wanted to instill in all of my graduates was the spirit of being a team that that's when great. you share, can be a lot of catty, jealous behavior between nail technicians, even under the same roof in a salon. And if everybody were just to look at this like we are a team, this isn't, you know, my client, her chair. No, you know, that it's the client who needs help and maybe you weren't available. So she needed to get help. And one time you're hoping that she can find help somewhere where it's more convenient for her, but she will come to you probably yeah. until you probably say, look, you, I know this girl, go see her there because there's a bond of loyalty that does develop in a relationship that develops with the nail technician over the years. You know, they'll say, nope, I just want you. I don't want to see anybody else. Right. But um, just having that kind heart and spirit and not saying that, well, she's my client and, you know, we, we don't own these people. We want to help them. And when you have that kind of a heart and um, look out for people's best interest, all of that goodwill always comes back to you. So I'm really happy to hear you say that. Thank you. That yeah. will come back to you tenfold. <laughs> So, um, and there's a lot of cheery sessions in these interviews lately because it is very touching. I mean, it is. the work that you do, I mean, and you worked hard, you know, you got through that course and um, now you're actually applying all of those skills to the, or for people and their feet. And um, it's emotional because it really escalates the level of your competency and the things that you've been accomplished. So I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of, <laughs> of everyone. I mean, even the people who haven't finished it yet, because it is a long course and if they're working full time and such, and they will eventually complete it, and, you know, review it and all of that. But I am really proud of you guys. So thank mm -hmm. you so much. Thank you. For, thank you for offering. <laughs> your community. Oh, you're welcome. Um, so in, 
your opinion, what are some good traits that a nail technician should have that you possess? So you potential clients out there who are watching now can get to know you a little bit better. The biggest thing I think is communication. That's probably the biggest thing that we hear every day in our spa is they've tried calling somewhere several times or tried to go into the spa or salon and they were just closed, 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 or nobody was answering the phones or nobody ever got back to them. So I'd say communication is our number one thing. And then the continuity of care, trying to also schedule before the person leaves, you know, also, let's get you on a regimen. Let's schedule this because Absolutely. too many times I know we're all in a hurry, but just take a, just take another minute and a half to schedule your next appointment so that you're not waiting. I know for us, we are a very busy spa and I try to encourage all, everyone to please schedule while you're there or even out in advance. I mean, I have, I'm scheduled yeah. out through the end of next year with some folks. So yeah. I mean, they come on the calendar and they know the day, they know their time, you know, it's just a routine, it's a regular service for them. And that cuts down a lot on phone calls and rescheduling and stuff like that. So that is really the practices is to have a standing appointment. And I'm glad that you offer that to your clients. That's fantastic. Absolutely. Is there anything that you have any comments about the course, any um but if anybody were thinking about taking it, could you name like a benefit or the big takeaway that you had from taking the course? The largest benefit for myself would be, honestly, the basics that you learn in school are not going to come anywhere close to what you're showing in real life, you know, practices and how to implement these things and how to use the tools and techniques to get through a good pedicure. You know, and of course you offer some more things in there and wink, wink, they need to take the program. Yeah. What are they waiting for? <laughs> you know, it's all there. It's right at your disposable. And the best part is for busy people like us, whether you have a family or other things going on in the world, it's at your own pace. Right. You know, sign up and get started because, it, you know, what are you waiting for? Just sign up, get started and get going with it because you're going to you're going to go far. You're going to be on that locator map where people are able to find us and go, hey, you offer this service no one else in my area does right. and we are a very populated area yeah so do it <laughs> thank you it's good advice good advice i want you to tell everybody again because we want people to be able to find you i want you to tell them the name of your salon sure. um mention your phone number your address maybe a couple cities that you're close to because the name of your city a lot of people have never heard of before. they've never of us which yeah. is interesting so i am in zephyr hills florida and there's a huge company here called zephyr hills water bottle company so a lot of your bottled water actually comes from right here oh, in wow. Central florida. so zephyr hills is actually i would surprise it's not huge on the map but we are located close to tampa dade city wesley chapel those areas all these communities are growing big around us um and our phone number is 813-779-0717 our name of our spa is Crystal Rune Spa. So it's a unique name, um, but it's it's pretty simple and easy to find us. And so we do you guys do some more other, than... like holistic stuff there? We do have some of the holistic things going on. We also, there's a another um, little storefront right next to us and she offers a lot of things. So kind of, kind of, uh, they have like crystals and holistic therapies right next door to us. So it's neat that we have, that we're all right there side by side. So always that teamwork is the dream work. <laughs> right. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to be here. Like I said, I'm so happy to have you as part of my network. You know, we need more people out there in the world caring for their communities and providing the kinds of services that people can't find or can't get readily in other places. Thank you. I, I look forward to watching your career just skyrocket. And <laughs> Thank you so much. Your Great. accomplishments. You're welcome. Thank you. Do you have Thank any you. closing words or anything you'd like to say before we go? If you're thinking about doing this program, do the Academy. We'd love to see you on the map. And I am so grateful and honored that I got to be a part of it and still a part of it. So yeah, go. Still be going. a part of it forever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. 
People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.